Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video. So we are taking a little break from the F80 and going to be installing something on the truck. It's been a little bit since I've installed something on there. Currently, I absolutely love it. There's not really much more I want to do to it. It's my daily driver. I drive that thing every single day all around, cart the kids around and everything, and it's been amazing. I always kind of rant and rave about how great of an addition it is to kind of the stable for me, and uh, I absolutely love it. Since I drive the truck throughout winter and this kind of stays stored in here, um, I want to make sure that the truck is ready to go. There's, again, not much I want to do to it, little things here and there, but there's actually one thing I have been considering. Now, I'm not really a big uh, seat cover kind of person. I typically just like to buy my cars with the interior color that I personally enjoy. Typically, I kind of stray towards black interiors. That is just kind of my go-to. I got black in here, black in the tire ride. However, on the F-150, it's a tan, which is kind of my least favorite interior color. Now, I'll show you in a little bit what we're working with. However, the reason why I ended up going with tan is because of the deal that I got with this truck. It was kind of stupid not to take. And to be honest, as I lived with it for almost three years now, I really don't mind it. However, uh, it has 85,000 miles on it, so it has a little bit of wear and stuff over time. And uh, it's the cloth seat, so it's nothing crazy, nothing spectacular. It's an XLT trim. So uh, a company actually reached out to me called Coverado. So they actually sent me over their full seat cover kit. It's in this nice little bag, hard to show uh, with the plastic on or the little cover, the little uh, case that it comes in. I'll show you in a second, but I opted to go with black. Now there are a couple different color options to go with. There's a gray, there's a black with uh, red piping, black obviously, and then there's also a full red, which is really cool. But for me being just as simple as possible, I decided to go with black. Now, as I mentioned, I do have the tan interior, but I wanted to mix it up a little bit and uh, kind of darken up the interior. Now, if I really do like the black interior and the black seats, and I, you know this is kind of everything that I was looking for, I may just do a full black conversion, a black interior conversion on the interior of the truck. So I was looking up some door cars and stuff like that, all the A pillars, B pillars, all that. And now it's really not too crazy to kind of convert everything over. So if these end up looking great and they fit well and everything, I may end up picking up some black interior parts to get the truck completely converted over to black but let's go ahead let's take these out of the packaging kind of show them off a little bit and then uh, we can install all right so i got the seat covers out of the little case now they're all still kind of folded up and uh kind of pieces are in there and everything but i wanted to at least show the quality and overall i am very very impressed it's got a nice design here i do wish it didn't say coverado on there i'd much rather it just say uh nothing at all but not that big of a deal. It's not like it's a different color or anything. It stands out too much. But the overall feel of it is really, really soft. Uh, I don't believe this is full real leather. I may be mistaken, but uh, I, from the feel of it, um, most likely it's just kind of a synthetic, which personally actually uh, wears a little bit better than uh, real leather. Um, it doesn't seem to crease and crack as much because it's synthetic, it's kind of a fake leather. But uh, it's really, really nice, and I'm actually impressed with it. Um, one thing I want to note is a lot of people are always scared to do covers, seat covers, because of the airbag in the seat belts or in the seats. But these actually have, as you can see, the airbag um, provisions. So it has the proper stitching and everything. So the airbag will still properly go through the seat and still work just like OEM. So I just wanted to mention that. Another really cool thing about these is that they do include full cover. Uh, headrest so it's not just like a cap that goes over it's a complete coverage of the entire headrest as well as the entire seat for these covers so it's not like it's just the front of it and anything there's gonna be no tan showing and uh, it's a pretty simple uh, straightforward process so I'm gonna go ahead and actually install the passenger side first the front kind of get familiar with it and then we'll uh, do the driver side on camera it has the full rear as well, so I'll show you guys that as well on camera, but all right, so this is what we're working with. We got the tan cloth interior. Not the prettiest looking thing, but it gets the job done. As you can see, there's some staining and stuff just from over the years. Yes, I can clean it up, and it does clean up pretty well, but um, it does have some wear here. Nothing crazy. It's not broken or anything, or it's, you know, the foam's not coming out, but you can see there's some uh, creasing and stuff, which is not too bad. But um, yeah, now the rear seats are covered with car seats, so you can't really see much, but. All right guys, so I got the passenger side installed. It actually looks pretty decent. Now I do believe some of the areas that I'm gonna point out in a second will relax once the uh, kind of material relaxes and everything and it gets in the sun and gets used. Uh, but overall, it fits very, very nicely. As you can see, it covers the entire headrest underneath and everything. There's little areas and everything that I can kind of uh, finesse a little bit 
and get a little bit better uh, up here there's a little bit of kind of a pocket of air but I believe once you kind of sit in it and it kind of wears it'll sit back and relax a little bit more but the bottom seat cushion fits really really nicely we go to the back as well up here kind of tuck in a little bit more and kind of uh, finesse a little bit more but as you can see it has a full back pocket as well I just threw it on kind of quickly just to kind of get an idea and then I'm gonna go around and kind of work in it a little bit more and uh, but overall I think it looks really nice definitely updates the uh, interior a little bit it looks a little bit more luxurious a little bit cleaner in my opinion so uh, let me go ahead and show you how to install it on the driver's side and then we can jump onto the rear bench you actually see a bunch of these clips and uh, two of these hooks so we're actually gonna need three of these plastic clips and then two metal hooks so we'll get those and then we're gonna need the um, driver or the front seat so we're gonna need one large head uh, rest wrap um, and then we're gonna need one of the bottoms here and then obviously the back uh, slip cover piece let's go ahead let's hop over to the driver's side and we'll get to installing all right, so first thing we gotta do is remove the headrest here. So you're just gonna push that in. Uh, it's gonna be hard doing this one-handed, but you gotta push that one inside. Then you can take it out completely, put that to the side. And now we're gonna take the large uh, backing for the front seats and just slip it over loosely. And then uh, I'll show you what to do with these tabs once we get it on the seat. All right, so that was pretty straightforward. You just literally slip it right over. Uh, I Velcro it on the back just for uh, temporarily. I'll position it better once uh, I kind of get everything sorted. But now we're gonna be looking for these three tabs underneath. So if we take three of the plastic clips, you'll see that they have little slits in them. Basically, let me put the camera down here. Basically what you're looking to do is slip the covers in like that. Same thing on this side, you're gonna do it to all three. Make sure they're slipped through uh, on both of the little tabs there, because you wanna make sure these are held on really well. So same thing for the third one. And now what we're gonna do is kind of slip them underneath the seat between the bottom and the back. And what these are gonna do, so you're gonna slip them in and they're gonna pop like this and hold it in place. So let me demonstrate for you. I'm gonna take one of them, kind of pull the seat all the way down, take one of these, and just kind of slip it back and it kind of pops up like this so it's going like this and then once it gets back uh, behind the seat it flips up like that and it holds it in place so same thing with this one kind of tuck it back and it pops in the same thing with this tuck it all the way back and then it's got to pop into place and there we go so again I gotta kind of manipulate this a little bit but let's go ahead and move on to the headrest and then we can do the bottom of the seat all right so we got the headrest in the cover you'll see that there's a, uh, a larger side and then shorter side the shorter side goes to the back the longer side goes to the front of the headrest and then inside there's a little velcro strap all right so for the headrest we're simply just going to slip it in like so pull it all the way down so it's the top of the headrest is hitting the top of the cover And then we're going to take the little Velcro strap, pull it underneath the headrest like that. Like so. And then we're going to take the rest of the little flap here and fold it under and stick it like that. So there you go. There's the headrest. Now we can pop it on the seat and then we can move on to the bottom cushion. All right, so we got the bottom cushion. Now what we're gonna do is flip it over. You're gonna see two of these straps, which you're gonna use the metal hooks for. All you do is just kind of slip them through that little slot. Uh, so they're hooked on here, I'll show you. Then the back actually has some of these clips um, and you kind of tuck it through the seat. Again, I'll show you, but uh, pretty simple. The bottoms actually fit really well. Uh, the tops, as I mentioned, still has a little bit of the kind of air pockets, which will settle and relax over time. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you how to put these hooks on and then uh, we can install it. All right, so this is what you want the clips to look like. You just slip it through the little slit on the back of the hook and uh, you just want them facing down on both sides. And there is a little um, kind of hole, as you can see right here, that they clip right into and it holds the front of the cover uh, down no problem. So 
Um, that is what you're going to look for. It's on both sides. There's one over there as well. So once you get in, you just clip it in that little hole and you're good. Now for the clips on the back, you have to tuck this part, the back of it, through the back of the seat and go uh, in the back seat and pull it through. All right, so the way that I did it in order to find it properly, because it's really hard to get your hand back there, is get a long screwdriver and slip it through the clip like that, poke the screwdriver through, and then you can find the screwdriver in the back of the seat um, through all the little plastics and everything, and then pull this through and then you can get your hand on the clip and pull that through the back of the seat so it's properly clipped. So I'm gonna do it with both sides. I'll show you uh, what it looks like when I pop it through and then uh, we can clip it in and the fronts will be done. All right, so we're in the back of the seat. I stuck the screwdriver through, uh, just kind of find your way through it. So I put the little clip on there, stuck it through. It's not poking anything or anything. It kind of finds its way. And then you can see right here, the screwdriver sticking out uh, on the side of the stock cover. So there's a little plastic flap here and it kind of finds its way. And then I'm gonna uh, stick my hand in there, get the clip, pull it through, and then clip it uh, around the side here and uh, it'll be good. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So let me go ahead and do that. A little hard to show you on camera and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we got the clips all clipped in. What I do is kind of hide the strap uh, underneath the little uh, seat lever, the back lever right there. So you can't really see it. Now we're gonna take these clips and pull down the seat and then clip it in those little holes right under here. Kind of hard to show. But just clip them in like that, like that. And then everything is installed. Looking good, so I gotta finesse it a little bit, but otherwise everything's installed. All right, so here's what the rear bench looks like. I just took the car seats out. You can see some denting and everything. Obviously that will pop back up. Uh, I have to have the seats out for a little while, but these are a little bit easier since there's a handle and you can lift up and get underneath to wrap everything around and all that. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, I guess we'll get this side done and then we'll hop over to the smaller little seat over there. All right, so the rear bench is really simple. All you do is pull it up and then there's four clips uh, for on each front and then you unclip them, slip one of the clips through the back underneath and then clip it to the top. So you do that, you're basically just strapping the whole thing down and then there's the side um, kind of pieces here and you just kind of slip them through each one of them so it holds the sides down and there you go. This one actually fits really well, uh, dare I say better than the front ones just because it's kind of wrapped around and really tight so it really forms the seat very very well. So I'm happy with that. We could do the same thing on that one and then we'll get to the backs. The backs are a little bit more uh, involved I guess just because you gotta kind of get back there and undo the clip. These are really easy since the little handle is right there. So, so let me show you that one on camera show you how I do it and then we'll move on to the backs. All right, so for the rears, what you wanna do is fold the back down. 
Now in order to get to the little clip back there, you fold the seat up and then if you look back behind the seat, there I already did it, but you can see this little clip right here. You wanna actually pull up on this little pin here. So this is typically down. All you do is reach your hand behind here, pull up this little pin and then it releases from that clip. So now you have full access to the rear so you can wrap the seat around there. You can see my kicker sub back there. I did a whole video on that, uh, but yeah, kind of the same process. Loop these through. Same thing with the clips, kind of wrap everything around. This is much easier than the fronts. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these done. I'll show you that side, and then we can uh, show you how everything looks. All right, so for the back seat here, in order to get it down, it's a little bit easier. There's a little pole strap here. You just pull it. The main reason is to get the access to the jack that inclu is included with the truck. This is all your little tools and everything. Um, but yeah, so all we're gonna do is wrap it around this. Kind of the same scenario as we did with the other side and uh, we should be done so let's get this finished up and i'll show you what it looks like Alright guys, there we go. There is the install of the rear. They actually fit really, really nice. The fronts, again, as you can see, gonna have to finesse a little bit, uh, but the rears fit really, really nice. This also has a pass-through as well, so if you needed it, there's a zipper and it unvelcros. I don't have a pass-through or anything like that, so this is probably kind of like a universal fit for a lot of cars, a lot of trucks that may have access, so that is available if you need it. Now, unfortunately, I'm gonna have car seats here for now, so I'm not gonna really see much of this but uh at least uh, it's on there it's protecting the seats and uh, i just think it looks so much better so again here are the fronts looking amazing so much better and uh, i must say much more comfortable <laughs> it has a little bit more of like a plush feel a little bit more of a luxurious feel than the factory cloth so it is a nice little touch again i know there's probably much nicer options out there i know a few other companies out there that do actually complete uh, replacements you know they take off the stock cover and everything and they slip on um, I understand that but Coverado was really kind enough and sent me these out I figured I'd make a video for you guys let you know what I think and for the price it's kind of hard to beat honestly um, I mean it protects the seat and it looks much nicer and it gives you that luxury feel and plus it kind of darkens up the interior here it's kind of my preference as well it darkens up the interior gives it a much richer and uh, more luxurious look and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so um, I'll obviously update you guys over time about how these things relax and kind of, you know, kind of form to the seat a little bit better. But overall, just installing pretty straightforward. That took me about 45 minutes or so, and that is with filming. And uh, I think it turned out pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I am going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to leave a link below for these seat covers if you want them. Again, they come in a few different colors, black, they come in black with red piping. They also come in a gray as well as a full red. Um, so whichever kind of fits your style and your flavor, you can obviously pick them up. Very simple to install. The price of them is very, very reasonable and uh, it's not going to break the bank. So if you don't like them or you want to change it up in the future, you most certainly can. 
Now, obviously, as you can tell, I have tan seat belts and tan uh, pieces around the car, but it still works. So if you're like me and you have tan interior and you wanna kind of darken it up a little bit, the black still looks really good. Uh, but if you wanna go all out, obviously you can get all the little black uh, door cards and all that and uh, you know, kind of change up everything. But so I'm happy with this for now. It's my daily driver. It's something that's gonna see a lot of use. So uh, you know, I'm not really too concerned about spending crazy amounts of money in here because if it wears, it's not the end of the world. But I will definitely update you guys and let you know how things are going as I drive on them and they kind of, you know, kind of relax and wear in and everything. Also, a quick little note for the front seats. On the sides here, the actual cover just kind of hangs over onto here. So what I did was take a pry tool, a plastic pry tool, and actually tuck it behind this trim. So you kind of just pushing it in. You can see the seam right here, the piping, and I just kind of push that down. Now I can't get the back part in because it has a strap there and the plastic trim kind of tucks or goes back that way so I can't tuck it in there. But honestly, it looks so much better and uh, kind of more uh, almost custom fit to this. It almost looks like an OEM piece. So uh, I do recommend doing that. So just get a pry tool, kind of tuck it behind that plastic. I did the same on the passenger side and it looks way, way better. So here's the passenger side, same situation, just tucked it in here. And the back part of it, you can't really tuck it in because of the strap and the way the plastic piece goes, but definitely a nice little touch. And I think it looks so much better than it just hanging over the side of the seat. Yeah, guys, I am going to get the car seats back in the truck, but I'm gonna wrap it up here. As always, I'm gonna leave a link below for these if you do want them. If you have any questions about the install or anything else on the truck, please let me know in the comments below. But in the meantime, keep it clean, keep it simple, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.